dance in any way. <laughs> Did I make you go crazy? But good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm filming another vlog today because why not? Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are filming a vlog today. This is my dog, Millie. <laughs> she gives me an upper arm workout at all times because I'm always carrying her and she weighs like 25 pounds. <laughs> But I have a super busy day today and I thought that I would bring you guys along with me. Right? Yes. We have a lot to do. I have to literally drive all the way back to my hometown to get an ultrasound this afternoon. But I have to do a bunch of stuff before I even leave. It is like nine in the morning. I've been up since seven. I'm gonna go get my workout in. I'm really excited to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, which is Obey Fitness. And I feel like it'll be perfect for so many of you who prefer to work out at home or don't have access to an actual gym, I think this is literally a perfect platform and I'm so excited to share more of it with you guys and to do a workout. I love using it if I'm not gonna be going to the gym or if I need to work out at home or if I'd rather work out just in my building's gym. I love being able to follow along to a class and follow an instructor. I just feel like it really motivates me. Are you nice? I love that Obey literally has a workout for anyone and can be done anywhere. They have classes from like Pilates to HIT to bar to trampoline. They have literally everything. So I'm gonna show you guys the app a bit and then we're gonna head to the gym and get a workout in. But yeah, I'm really excited that I'm working with them because I feel like it's just like a perfect collab. So here is the app. It's super cool. They even have live classes that you can follow along to, which is amazing. I just feel like that's such a cool concept. So they have like yoga, ride classes. Um, they have so freaking many options. It's so cool. I love that the background is purple too. That's just like is amazing. They have ones that they recommend based on like your selection. So when you sign up, there's like a little quiz that you can put in where you kind of tailor like what you would want based on like what kind of exercises or workouts. Like I didn't put um, cycling because I don't have a bike and I'm not really a big cycling person personally. Or So I picked like bar and hit classes because I love hit and Pilates and of course like strength. Stuff like that is stuff that I literally love. So I have a bunch of those. I'm gonna do a hit workout today. So they have like the latest classes, they have express classes. So if you have like a short amount of time, you can still get a workout in. If you only have like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, that's no reason that you can't get a really good workout in in that time. The instructors on Obey's platform are some of the best instructors in NYC, New York City, and they have a bunch of different personalities. So you can really find someone that works for you, whether you prefer someone who cracks jokes or you prefer someone who's just motivating you the entire time. They literally do have an instructor for you so you can find one that suits your personal needs and goals. I'm gonna do a quick HIIT workout today, but I want to shout out one of my other favorite instructors, which is Mary. I like her Pilates workouts, they're really good. Pilates is a workout that's very easy to do from home. So if you guys are looking to start exercising, definitely highly recommend Pilates, HIIT, yoga. All of these can easily be done from your own house or if you have some sort of area that you can work out in, even outside, like these are just amazing. But I feel like doing a quick HIIT workout today, so I think that's what I'm gonna go for. It's cool because you can actually go in and like filter the kind of classes that you want. So you could be like, oh, I want to do a HIIT and I would like it to be a bit shorter. So I'm gonna say 15 minutes because I feel like that's a good amount of time for me. So then they have some that are around 20 or under 20 minutes that you can do, which is great. Dorian is a really great hit instructor and they're just really fun to follow along to. So very excited and let's go do a little hit workout. I've decided instead of going to my building's gym, I'm gonna do it from my living room because I casted it to my TV and I think that's so fun. <laughs> so I just have my mat here. I'm obviously gonna change my shoes and we're gonna get this little hit workout in. I'm doing this hit by Dorian C. It requires no equipment, which is great, and it's only 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna get a quick sweat in, and it'll be perfect to start off my day. I don't need no one to say you're complicated. Cause I knew from the start this might be overrated. Cause we 
guys I just finished that workout it was so good I like thoroughly enjoyed that I love doing like little hit workouts they're so fun and you can just get like sweat in in a short amount of time which is really nice so yeah that was really good I loved the instructor she was so like motivating and on it and literally the fact that they can talk while doing a hit I just think is absolutely insane like these girls are so freaking fit girl power love that <laughs> so Bay has more than 7,000 on-demand classes and then they literally are curated for any fitness level whether you're beginner advanced postnatal prenatal kids seniors they have something for you and yeah that was perfect because I didn't have much time today and I was able to get that workout done in just like 20 minutes which was great if you're in a rush they also offer like five and ten minute workouts if you really only have a small amount of time to get it done so I will have a link down below if you guys want to sign up for obey fitness you can also use the code Chelsea T to get a little cheeky discount and yeah that was so much fun I thoroughly enjoyed it that was perfect for today because I had such a busy day and being able to just get my workout done in 20 minutes at home or in my like buildings gym is just so convenient and easy and I love it so gonna have that down below and again Chelsea T will get you a discount all right guys <laughs> I showered I changed I kind of look like a gray blob today I'm really wearing gray leggings and a gray sweatshirt this one is from Urban Outfitters it's one of my favorites but I am heading to my parents later to go and stay over so I need to pack a little bag you know um, so I'm gonna do my skincare and pack my skincare at the same time. We love a um, multitasking queen. <laughs> so I'm just going to start off by wiping down my skin just with the Marcella water. So this one's by Cle de Peu Beauty. Um, this is like really expensive, but I got sent it in PR and it's really nice if you feel like getting a bougie Marcella water. Uh, it's really nice just for like a little quick morning cleanse. I don't really like to wash my face in the morning anymore, especially since my skin has gotten quite dry. I find just this or nothing or just a splash of water is just way better for me. So I'm going to use that. Am I going to pack this? I don't think so because uh, maybe. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm offering any makeup. So you know what? We're going to go in with the skincare. I'm also gonna pack just my Tula Superfood Cleanser. This is the cleanser I'm using currently and I really, really, really love it. It's just great for my skin. My skin loves Tula products. I don't know why, I know. I have some friends who say that the fragrance bothers them, but for me, I don't have that problem. Makeup remover, need that. I'm gonna pack some vitamin C. I'm gonna use Tula again. I'm gonna apply this right now, actually. Just like a blend pump. Over our face. The weather today was literally terrible. Weather with Chels. It's time for my weather segment, guys. <laughs> I'm always giving you guys the weather updates. But yeah, it is terrible today. It's snowing. Why? Then I'm gonna bring just my micro ferment serum by Neogen. I'm almost finished this actually. It's like the second serum that I pour. It's just supposed to help firm and plump your skin, which you know as a <laughs> As a woman, I don't want my skin to be, what is it called, sallow? No. Shallow? No. The opposite of plump down. Yeah, we're not doing any makeup because as I told you guys, I'm getting an ultrasound today of my neck because they're checking my thyroid because I think I have like a nodule on it. So my doctor just wanted to check it. And um, you know, they're gonna be putting gel like all up in here and I just don't feel like <laughs> having makeup on, which is not ideal for that situation. I'm gonna pack my retinol for nighttime. I always pack my Uracin Aquaphor for my lips because it's the best. Eye cream, I've been really liking the hydrating eye cream with hyaluronic acid from First Aid Beauty. It's just really nice and moisturizing, which we love and live for. Then for my moisturizer, the Tula 24-7 Hydrating Day and Night Cream. Been obsessed with this. Look at this huge dent I put in it. I've been applying this morning and night. My skin eats this stuff up like it's nobody's business. Like my skin's in love. Okay. I don't know what's in this. <laughs> I probably should look up the ingredient list. But all I know is my skin is very moisturized and happy when I'm using this. I got no breakouts. I don't have any dry patches and if my skin is happy i'm happy i'm like that girl with like eight thousand skincare products and people are like mm -hmm, that's a lot and i'm like i know 
Okay. Then I'm just gonna apply my grande lash. Not apply it. I'm gonna pack it. Um, I don't really probably need sunscreen today. I know people say you need sunscreen even if it's not sunny, but I'm like, really? Do you? I don't know. Like, there's no sun today at all. Do I need to apply sunscreen? <laughs> um, I always just use the Neogen Daylight Protection Airy Sunscreen SPF 50. This one's so good. It's so lightweight and like moisturizing. So I'm probably I'll just put a little bit. You know, I don't want anyone to come at me for not wearing sunscreen. So I'm gonna apply. I always do just two fingers. And then just apply it on my skin. Honestly, this one's just like an extra layer of hydration, it feels like. Like it's just so nice and light. And then the last thing that I love to apply on my face is just the Tula Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. This is bomb. Even when I'm not wearing makeup, I love to apply this. It just gives like a little bit of like a glow to your skin. It has a bit of like a tint, like just a little bit, but like not really. I don't know how to explain it, but it just kind of like helps like even out your skin tone a bit and I'm just obsessed. So I just apply this on my skin and I just love the way that it looks. It gives me like a little glow and it also is a bit blurring so it kind of smooths out your pores. It's just a great product, especially like on makeup free days. Like I love to apply this because I just feel like it makes my skin just look like a little bit better. That's all of the skincare that I'm going to pack. Make sure I pack my toothbrush. Oh no, I have one of my parents' house forgot about that I got one there don't have to worry about it for makeup I am gonna pack like a few things that are like essentials like my eyebrow gel okay we can't function without the brow setter because my eyebrows are nuts and I need to always have this on hand to keep them where I want them because otherwise they'll just go everywhere it's also great for like smoothing out your hair like I had these little flyaways so I'm just gonna smooth those down little hack. I'm just gonna pack my under eye concealer, which is the Dior Forever Skin Corrector. I've been using this one recently. I just bought it and I really like it. This was like one of my OGs um, back in the day. This tone matches me perfectly. It's just in 2N and it's just great for covering up, especially on makeup free days. I like to just apply this. Just a powder to set it. I just got this one too, the Kosas Feathery Cloud Set and I really like it for setting because it's super lightweight. Mine's in the color Feathery, which I think is light medium. And I'm just gonna apply this. I'm just gonna apply the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Mascara. This one's really good. It's like a tubing mascara. Ooh, there's a clump. It's like a tubing mascara. So it's really easy to remove, which is great. It just kind of like slides off your lashes when you wash your face. <laughs> Back from my walk, that was literally brutal. Millie was soaked and so was I. It's like that horrible snow where it's not even like sticking to the sweat. Now Millie has zoomies as well because she's wet. And whenever she's wet, she goes insane. Um, but I'm just uploading my video that's gonna be live on Wednesday just to make sure that that one is up and ready because I am going to visit my parents. I'm just trying to get that done now and uploaded. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys some items that I picked up from Abercrombie, which I'm really excited. You guys know that I love them. And I finally got my hands on those jeans that everyone was talking about. They've been sold out forever and they were just randomly restocked. So I ordered them and I'm so excited to show them to you guys and some other just a couple items that I picked up. So I'm just gonna have that. I'm having my protein shake right now. I'm loving the ritual protein like you guys need to check that out if you're looking for like a vitamin and protein in one like i think i might sign up for the subscription service once i'm finished my protein and my vitamins or just buy it outright because it's just like so nice that you like the protein is really good it tastes really good in the smoothie like like for a vegan protein i really enjoy that and it's really good so anyways <laughs> Just getting some work done quickly. It's like 11.40, I need to leave by one. So I have a lot to do before I head out and I need to get all that stuff sorted. It's too much going on, too much. And the weather is trash. So I'm just like planning that there's gonna be traffic of some sort because whenever the weather is bad, there's traffic of some sort. 
I'm freaking freezing, so I'm going under this blanket. But I'm gonna film the whole portion now of the stuff I picked up from Abercrombie. So let's go through this bag. <coughs> I always cough because I have something cold. I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. So first up, a pair of jeans. These are the 90s straight ultra high rise. And these are the ones that everyone has, like everyone and their mother. So <laughs> they're just like the blue jeans and they're high waisted. They fit so well. And they just have the rip in both knees. These are gonna be like a staple wardrobe item for me 100% going through the summer and the spring. They're just like such a great jean. I love the color of them. The fit is just amazing. I'm literally obsessed. So I picked up that pair. And then I also picked up the same style of jeans in a lighter wash. So these ones are like super light. Um, they're like really nice light wash jeans for the summer. This will be so cute. And they have like a cool rip too. They have a rip. It's like up on the thigh area more instead of like at the knee. Or is it the knee? I can't remember. <laughs> You'll see in the try on portion. I cannot remember. But these ones are really nice as well. I love the light wash. Literally obsessed. They fit so nice. They like hug your butt and your waist, but they're like straight. They're just like the nicest jeans. And I'm really happy that I was able to pick these up because I feel like the style is perfect. Though I know that low rise jeans are like making a comeback, which I have mixed feelings about. Like I feel like a low rise boot cut is just like a hell no. Like that gives me like middle school flashbacks of terror and I don't want to ever go back there. Actually also high school was like low rise skinny jeans, which is just, whoa, what was happening? The low rise baggy jeans with like a crop top, I'm kind of here for, it's kind of cute. So that one, you know, I might dabble in. We'll see how I feel come the spring. But right now we're still on a high rise kick. I love high rise denim. It's flattering. Okay, then I picked up just one more pair of pants, which is a pair of cargos. I love the cargo trend. I think it's so fun. And I loved this pair from Abercrombie. So they're like a little bit more of like a high-waisted one. These are so wrinkled from being in the bag, but they're kind of like a jogger style. Like they have this little part around the ankle that you can tie up. They have really cool like pockets on the side. These are gonna be so cute, just with like a little cropped tank top and some cute sandals or sneakers. I just love them, so I was obsessed with these. They definitely need an iron though. I need to order like a steamer or an iron or something for all my wrinkly ass clothes. And then I just picked up this really cute little summery set. So it's just this pair of high-waisted floral shorts. They're so pretty. I love these. Eee! These are so cute. Even with like a little bodysuit, these would be adorable or like a little cropped top for the summer or on vacation. But then I picked up like the little top that matches it to go together. So it's got these little puffy sleeves and then it like ties up. So summery, like I feel like I need to go on vacation just to wear this because it's so freaking cute. So I loved this, these two together. I just thought that they were adorable. And then last up, I picked up this like maxi dress, which looks stunning on the model. I'm hoping it's gonna look cute on me. I'm not like, me and maxi dresses, like sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's not. So we're just gonna see how the cookie crumbles. But this pattern is just stunning. So it's like this beautiful, floral with orange and yellow and blue and this dress is really cool so it's just kind of like a straight neckline like this but then it has all these like asymmetrical like details that like go down i don't know how to explain it but you guys will see in the try on portion and i just thought that it was really nice so that's everything that i picked up from abercrombie in my mini haul i'm obviously gonna have it tried on for you guys so you can see and i'll try and link the items down below and yeah i'm really like my favorite is definitely the jeans like they're just so nice and flattering and when you find jeans that like fit you really well there's nothing better all right guys we are off where are you there you are are you ready you ready to go see nana and papa See you guys at home. All right guys, I am back in the motherland and <laughs> I'm about to go in to get my ultrasound. Not excited. Not excited. I always feel so nervous because one, I just always feel like I'm, they're gonna find something and I'm dying. <laughs> Maybe I'm a hypochondriac, I don't know. Is that the right word? I think it is. But yeah. Am I gonna be paranoid? Probably. 
what else is new, but you know, we're gonna try and not be. <laughs> we're gonna try really hard to not be, but I'll see you guys when I get out. And then I'm gonna head back. Millie's just with my mom and she's been playing with the other dogs. I kinda wanna like go out for dinner tonight, but I don't know if my parents will be down. Oh my God, Thursday's gonna be 17 degrees. 17 <laughs> degrees. Are you insane? 17? That's a freaking heat wave. <laughs> I'm not gonna need to wear a jacket. Yes, thank you very much. Very excited about that. No jacket, no problems, right? Am I right? I'm right. Okay, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. I'm avoiding it. I'm rambling so I don't have to go in. <laughs> like seven in the morning at my parents place I just made my coffee good old curry coffee the OG it's good but it's just not my espresso <laughs> but yeah I just woke up here I fed Millie and I'm just gonna chill out until like 10 ish and then I'm gonna drive home because Millie gets car sick um, if she eats and then Millie goes on a car ride so I have to let her like food sit in her stomach for a couple hours let her like digest it before we go in the car <laughs> so just waiting for that but good morning um my thing went really well yesterday my ultrasound i don't know the results yet but like it was fine it wasn't stressful the guy who did the ultrasound on my neck was like this really really friendly guy he was kind of a jokester which is nice because he lightened the mood and made me feel less um nervous so it was good and then other than that i just ordered chinese food and I played on my iPad and then went to bed. <laughs> I did read some more of The False Witness by Karen Slaughter. I forgot how Karen Slaughter's books, which obviously I'm currently reading this one, they're so dark. Like I just forgot. Like I know thriller books are usually like a little bit darker, but Karen Slaughter really goes in on dark topics. Like there's always a lot of like trigger warnings with her books. Like I always think they're really good, but I'm like, if you're triggered by anything, bad that's sexual you shouldn't read her books <laughs> because there's always lots of lots of stuff going on murder other stuff just so much but it's good i'm only on chapter four but that's like this far in so i've been reading it like too too much just before bed so we'll see how long it takes me to finish but it's pretty dark it's really dark but i was expecting it to be I've been reading such lighthearted books for so long, I'm like, holy crap, drop it. Sorry, Millie was chewing on an elastic band. It's like being a mother to a two-year-old. You always have to see what they have in their mouth. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna just have a slow morning. I'm gonna drink my coffee, watch videos on my iPad or something. That's kind of the plan, but hello, it's Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? No, it's Wednesday. <laughs> No! Millie's such a city dog, she's scared of the suburbs. Every little silence is too quiet for her. She's freaked out by everything outside. I am back home, I'm just putting away all of my stuff, but I wanted to show you guys how creepy this fog is. Look at this. You literally can't see anything. If anyone's ever seen the movie, The Mist, <laughs> that's what this reminds me of. It was like some like old horror movie about like, this mist comes into this town, like the mist is like full of monsters. It's just like really creepy. <laughs> so that's what that kind of reminds me of. It's very eerie looking. I had to drive through it too, which was not ideal, but we're back home safe. Look at my little chicken butt. Hi. And I'm just putting away all my stuff. I got the cutest little set from Revolve. Look how cute this is. It's like this little tank top in the matching little cardigan. How perfect for, is this for spring? Like I'm literally obsessed. I love it. It's by the brand More To Come, which I've never gotten anything from before, um, but it was really cute. I actually got it with my commission money, um, which is amazing. So thank you guys for shopping through links from me. And yeah, I just think that it's adorable. I can't wait to wear it for spring. I might be going to an event on Thursday. So if I do, I'm definitely gonna wear this because I just think it's so cute and perfect for spring weather. I got the cutest packages delivered to my parents' house. So one of them was this one from Estee Lauder for World Sleep Day. 
and it has a bunch of their advanced night repair. They have the eye, the advanced night repair serum, and then the advanced night repair intense reset concentrate. And then they also sent this pair of like really beautiful navy pajamas and they're embroidered with my name, which is so cute. These are the pants. Look how cute. I'm gonna sleep in these tonight. There's nothing better than like really nice luxe pajamas. Like I just live for it. I feel like the older I get, the more I'm like, yes, matching pajama sets. That's where it's at. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, look how cute. CT. Ah, I love it. I'm so excited to sleep in that tonight and try out the serums. I've used the serums before and they're really good. I love the advanced night repair. I've never tried the um, intense reset concentrate, so that'll be really cool to try out. Very excited. And then I also got this really cute package from Buble or Bubbly. Um, their sparkling water beverage for their new mango flavor, which is so cute. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a pop socket. <laughs> and I was like, are these socks? They are. That's so cute. Very excited to try these out. I'm gonna put them in my fridge right now so I can have a little beverageino later. Love that. Thank you so much. All right, guys, I just wanted to come on here to end off today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you watched it all the way through, all 30 minutes, definitely leave me a comment down below and I will come back to you because you are the really the MVP. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.